everyone. So let's make a boss together. I would like to add a boss for the ended area in the um, you know RPG demo map. So um, we have the skeleton model here, which is from Polytype Studio. It was super nice once again to provide it uh, for the RPG builder. And now, um, so the prefab part is you know done. Now I have to make with you the NPC in the editor. So let's just open the editor, go to NPCs. But before that, I want to show you some of the things that are predefined. So um, I, before the video, I made a few effects, a few abilities, one item, and I'm going to show you that right now. So we have for the boss an auto attack, which is a you know just a simple con attack in front of him doing some physical damage. He also has another con ability, but this time it's going to stun us. And the first one is an ability which is AoE. It's a pretty big radius. And um, if we look at the effect here, the curse, it's actually a damage over time. So it's going to do a big AoE around him. And if we get hit, we get this damage over time on us, which is doing 80 damage, uh, which is quite a lot. And very important, it's healing him for 100% of the uh, damage dealt, meaning that we really want to dodge that for two reasons. Both, I mean, first, it's going to you know, uh, hit us pretty hard, but second is going to heal him also, and this is going to make the fight um, harder. So, we also created an item. So now we have this staff, and this staff is going to be where it is inside the loot table for the boss, and we will attach this loot table on the NPC uh, right now. So, let's call him a Skeleton Boss. Let's drag and drop the prefab I set up for uh, this boss. The level maybe is something like 12 is going to be of type boss the type uh, boss is not that much different from mob it's just that this um npc is going to have his own uh, health bar on your screen so it's going to show you hey you have around you a npc which is you know quite a lot more powerful than others the aggro range i want it to be quite high same as the reset target and it's going to be um, having all his abilities. So the auto attack, rush, and curse. So simply just like that, we add some abilities to this NPC. The respawn is going to be maybe like 30, 35 seconds. Maybe something like 50 experience for um, when we kill him. The loot table is going to be what I just created, the skeleton boss loot table. And I want to override a few of his stats. So first of all, I'm going to override the um, move speed. This is going to be 10 instead of 7, which is default value. This is because I want him to be faster than our character, so that is really annoying to kites. Health is also going to be overridden to um, something like maybe 1100. And I also want him to give him some passive lifesteal. So he's going to have 25% um, lifesteal by default, meaning that not only the curse ability is going to heal him, but any damage he's doing. So also his auto attack is going to heal him. And the ROM is going to be like maybe four meters. This is not really um, important here. And now we have one last thing to do. Well, actually two. Uh, here we have the NPC spawner. So which is, you know, what is used in RPG Builder to spawn some mobs and enemies and also allied NPC. And we just need to select the skeleton boss here. And just like that, when we enter the game, this is going to spawn um, the boss exactly where we want it to be. And now we can go to the main menu. And we also have to select the uh, skeleton boss prefab and link the skeleton boss to it. So when this prefab is spawned, it's going to use this data. So the data of the boss we just created to, you know, attack, move, and um, set up his stats and stuff like that. And that's it. We can just now go in game. I'm going to be making a uh, character. I'm going to go full screen or so. And uh, call it a video boss or whatever. I'm first going to learn some abilities because if we don't have abilities to fight back, we're in trouble. I'm not even sure if we can, you know, kill him anyway, even with abilities. And um, something like that. I'm also going to give myself some items because I would not really like to go naked. Actually, you know what? Let's look a bit funny. Maybe, uh, yeah, just like this. Kind of half naked with a staff. And going to face the um, skeleton boss. And let's give ourselves full HP. Cool. So I'm going to show you a bit the abilities we have. We have the fireball, which is, you know, just a basic um, fireball projectile ability. We have the fire rain, which is an AoE. And this is definitely something I plan um, 
to use on the ground and keep him in it as long as possible but sometimes i'm gonna have to kite so we'll see how this goes i have this uh, con you know this kind of fire con ability um applying a dot on enemies and then we have this fire pillar ability which is on the ground and the fire aura is a pretty long cooldown but it's uh, you know giving us a lot of extra um fire damage so pretty cool we can now go and work to the boss we're looking pretty badass ready to you know kill him he should not be so far so i'm just going to keep working this direction So for this RPG demo, I really plan to have quite a few bosses um, because it's fun and I think it's nice to showcase that. Uh, a few different mobs, there is going to be crafting, uh, gathering, all that. And I'm going to cover all of that on, the, um, on this channel by videos and, you know, you will be able to experience it yourself, of course, very soon also. So uh, let me actually check if he didn't go too far. Okay, no, he's still at the middle. And uh, we are also not so far. So let's go a bit further here. And we should start seeing the uh, boss UI. Okay, here you see the health, and he literally just jumped us right away. So I'm going to face tank him first. Okay, this I was. If we see the long cast time, we have to dodge it because it's going to be this one. Well, I didn't dodge it, I was still in it apparently. So I'm going to have to dodge it um, faster next time. This time, me. Okay, this time, and I once again, this one I didn't see it in time. So for now, we're doing pretty bad actually. Um, he stunned me, so I can't really attack him right now. Now, dodging it. Okay, this one we dodged it. But he already has a lot of health still compared to us. So let's see. I'm going to try to just face, face tank him and kill him. Okay, we got this. It was pretty close. 19 health. So I think the next uh, hit will probably have killed us. So let's get this staff here. And go away from this area because I really don't want him to respawn and kill us. And now we have this uh, new staff. So pretty cool. That was how to you know create a boss in RPG Builder. Of course, it was not the process from start to finish because I don't wanted to the video to be too long and to repeat so many of the steps that that I already covered many times in other videos. But anyway, you see how quick it was to set up a boss, have it spawn in the world, and actually you know get in game and fight it. And we get some loot from him, some experience, and some fun hopefully um, in the actual demo because this was pretty basic, of course. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.